Hi everyone, welcome back. It is hard for me to believe that it is already the end of 2023. What happened? Anyway, um, so back at the beginning of this year, or the end of last year, one of the two, I had made a yarn usage goal for myself. So we are going to go over some of the stuff that I made um, and go over the yarn. And at the end here, I will be saying, I will be divulging my yarn usage for the year. Just as a disclaimer, yarn usage and finished objects are two completely different critters. So there are tales. To these to some of them there and there are, are just parts to some of those of these so no judging just know that I have taken the yarn from the skein or the ball or the hank or whatever and I have turned them into something they may not be a finished object quite yet so with no further ado, I will continue on this journey to showing you exactly what I did. So our first Tales Need to Be Hidden, not quite finished object, would be my son's sweater. I got it all made up and all um, worked, but have not seemed, nor have I hidden Tales on this particular project. In working this project, after the first of the year, I did use 1,076 yards of yarn for that. And on to another not quite finished, but worked up piece. Um, I have my party cardigan. It is a party, all right. Um, using the Big Twist party yarn I have set aside so then that way when I do get to hiding the tails and doing all the seaming on that I will have it. Now for a little bit of a change up this is for the most part done but tails need to be hid <laughs> and that would be my sea breeze sweater and that one is the um the yarn for this came uh, the beginning of the year and I got this one finished to the point tails need to be hid and when I did finish it the reason why the tails on this one aren't hid yet is the fact that when I did finish it it got warm and I didn't need a sweater anymore I will quickly interject that for the party cardigan I did use 720 yards of that particular yarn. For the Seabreeze sweater, I used 1,400, 1,400 yards of yarn for that. And now we shall continue on to the mainly worked, not finished category as well. I'm going in order of things that I did, not necessarily the, or, uh, the order of things that were finished. I will just admit to that. So the next one is I have all of these <laughs> granny squares. Um, for a person who hates and really much like, m much dislikes to have to hide tails and do all the seaming, why do I torture myself with granny squares? I don't know. But I have all of the granny squares completed to do the clover throw. And for that, um, without seeming obviously, I have used 2,958 yards of yarn. And now I get to the, I will just tell you about it maybe flash up a cutesy picture over in this corner of what I am talking about. Um, I did make four of my Terra Pocket Shawls, which that got me 5,628 yards of used yarn. Um, those I do not have pictures of because they were gone so quick, I could not 
um, I could not do that, but the remaining of the yarn for that I did put into working on, once again, granny squares for a couple of purses that I am intending on making. Yes, not finished. I'm seeing a general theme. May I just say, black is not what you wear in your craft room. I have to remember this. All right. So the next thing I'm going to move on to is I made a sweater scarf. Um, nice long wrap around you. I am not going to demonstrate it right now. Um, but I did with the pattern have a couple of, I would say changes. I ended up going through and making another crocheted scarf, uh, sweater scarf. This one using my um, back loop only. That's what I'm looking for. Back loop only sleeves. Ribbing. Yes. So for the gray sweater, uh, sweater scarf, I used 1,371 yards of yarn. And for the mocha colored sweater scarf, I ended up using 1,505 yards for that one. And that brings us to um, my last three projects of the year. The first of those last three was this sweater that I made. I, my <laughs> critique of this particular sweater was I love the color change. I do not, however, love the fact that I put nonstop double crochets. So that's going to be kind of a lounge around my house kind of sweater. I don't foresee it getting used very often, to be perfectly honest with you. So because of this, this particular sweater, I used 1,403 yards of yarn to create. So I took my stitches from that and decided I wanted like a closer, like closer stitches. So then it wasn't going to stretch out and be like needing so much of a, like a tank top or something underneath it because I don't do layers very well. So I went ahead and using my same stitches, I ended up using um, the griddle stitch for this particular sweater. This particular sweater ended up using 1,845 yards of yarn. Um, it does have kind of a three quarter sleeve um, kind of unintended, but I also was kind of running out of yarn. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough yarn to finish both sleeves the same length. So taking what I learned from that particular sweater, I went and made this sweater with the full intentions of wearing it on Christmas. And Christmas was too hot. I would have roasted. So this particular sweater uses the, um, this one is worsted weight yarn. It uses the same stitch pattern and pretty much the same stitch counts, except for I did make the sweater of the sleeves longer um, in order to make that one the length that I wanted at the complete end. That took me 1,785 yards to complete which gets me to the grand total of 21,386 yards used in the year 2023 for my own personal stuff. Now this wasn't including the yards that I have used for stuff for my shop or anything like that. Personal yarn <laughs> usage for the most part. Um, and out of my stash. The only exception to that was the Terra shawls that ended up 
people liked and said, hey, can I buy? And of course. So yay me, I got my yarn yardage. I made it. I was like kind of, eh, that's, that sounds like a lot, but I think I could do it. And I did. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of proud of myself. Thank you so much for joining me for this craziness. If you did like this, please like, share, and subscribe. All that good jazz. And uh, until next time.